Online, online practice. I'm playing in the UK. <laughs> it's, it's actually very crazy. Jack seven. Jack mirror. Jack <laughs> seven. Uh, we've done a Marduk one already. We've done Marduk and we've done we've done Paul. We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do Jack. Right, this one this one's gonna be interesting to me because Jack is a character that I think is pretty easy, but I feel like there's depth and I know you would be the perfect guy to talk to, so yeah man. Let, depth. <laughs> let me know. What would you say this character type is? Would you say defensive? Offensive? Or would you say uh is there another thing for him? Hold on one second. Wait, wait gamble, we're gonna we, we can do Leo at one point, but we'll do that another Wayne. time. <laughs> Who wants to do Leo? Uh, Alright, um, let me know what you so think, think of the type. The, the simplest way to explain Jack is just space control. That's just the way he works. Uh, he controls the space. Um, maybe like, uh, I remember reading this article about uh, like Daigo, um, like in his prime. And how there's all these Ryu players, like so many, and... They all like appear to be using the same basic tool set, but he just dominates. Like he's the best, he's the god. And it's because with Jack, it's not so much about the moves you use, it's mm -hmm. about the way you're controlling the space. Right. And uh, so yeah, everyone can use the same tools with Jack and get wildly different results. And that's why like uh, they change the character a bit. And you see a lot of Jack players like fall off, but someone like Anakin, who's just like the master of space control with his character, uh, is just still getting the results. Like always getting the job done because he he's just mastered this fundamental aspect of the game. Like he's never not going to be good with Jack, mm. just because what he's doing is so fundamental to Tekken. It's just like controlling that space. Um, so how does he do that? Uh, yeah. Well, we all. It's hard to explain because we all see the moves he's using. Like everyone's like, okay, yeah, two, two, and two, one, and down back one, jackhammer, and the down four two right as they're coming in. Um, mm. It all just looks so basic. Yeah. Um, so what it comes down to, I think, is there's a huge element of reads involved with this character and gathering information. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, you're using these tools, um, like simple attacks, but always gathering information on how the opponent is responding, like uh, defensively. So, you know, like those classic matches you see where the Jack player just straight freaking steamrolls the other person. Like, right. it just looks like such a bully fest. And to me, that happens when the Jack player clearly understands the way the opponent is playing defense yeah. and the opponent doesn't understand the way that they are playing defense yeah. so um we'll start with like the most basic thing like uh, you'll see a lot of players they get hit low by jack and then they attack yeah so they'll they'll get hit by this they'll get hit by down back one to lost game. this is just like the most basic jack strat yeah um so if a jack player notices that like okay i'm gonna run and then you'll see the type of player that every time they get hit by a low, they step. And then you'll see this happening. Uh. And so the people that have the most luck against Jack, they do the best against defending against them, is they're able to represent all different types of variety in how they're playing defense. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes hard for the Jack player to just get that easy read and run them over. Right. Um, so this extends like to other tools, like the two jab. I'll see people to get in the habit. They get hit by the two jab and then they duck because yeah. they they want this to happen. They want the classic two jab and the down back one to happen. Uh -huh. um, so the jack player is always trying to figure out the opponent's like defensive mode of operation, and then use these basic tools around that to like start steamrolling. Okay. Um, and this 
gets more and more complicated, like at higher and higher level, because there's just more and more defensive options being represented, and the opponent is more and more sharp. But this is like the basic way that I'm thinking about the characters. Like simple tools, but always gathering data. Cool. So he's, it's like basically like a robot in general. It's exactly. Data. Exactly. <laughs> he's a big robot bully. That's why he's so sick. So talk me through his key moves then. What were the moves that you would be looking for if I went to play Jack? Sure. So um, it's kind of like the the essential five. Two jab. Full crouch down back one. Regular down back one. Jackhammer. Down for and two. And this... Yeah, it's it's got to be down for you. Got to be. Um, but also like, I really love this move, the Jack. It's pretty unique, actually. This is a 12 frame mid, but it's plus seven on hit. Plus seven. Um, so this is like another really essential tool. So you could do like stuff like jab, jab, down forward four, because people might think you did down back one. Sure. Stuff like that. Sure. And okay. it's it's like low commit, low commit. Um, and then, yeah, so, so much of his game, like, centers around this 2 jab. So 2-2, two, 2-down two, two, forward 4, 2 into grabs, 2 into full crash down back 1. Um, you can set up just so much with Jack just by getting in range and just getting them to block one of these. Uh, 2 into forward 2. And this mm. is where, like, all of the information gathering happens. Like, oh, they blocked a 2. What does my opponent like to do? Um, can I keep running it? Mm. Uh, are they just gonna block and backdash and I can just, you know, like, get in that ass and do full crash down back ones out of dash? Um, it's so much just gathering information with the basic tools. I think that's, like, the foundation of, of how to play him. Okay, that's uh, So, yeah, we went over those, like, five key moves. And once you have those down, then that's where you can start expanding out and see, like, other avenues with the character. Yeah, would you would you would you put forward forward one into it as well? Because like forward forward one is kind of like to see if people like to press buttons as well. Like you know, right? Obviously you got the down back one, full crash down back one. You got those moves, but usually you were saying stuff about creating space, and you know if you're out this range, I I would imagine throwing out forward forward one would be okay because it's safe, right? It really depends on the the matchup that you're playing against, like. Uh... Let me think of a good example. I guess... For instance, if I'm fighting against, like, Akuma. Mm -hmm. I don't want to just be going in like this. <laughs> this would just be silly. Mm -hmm. Because he's got so many buttons that can intercept me coming in. Like, mm -hmm. he's got, uh, you know, his crouch jab options. He's got 1-1. One, one. I He could just do, like, a random start charging the focus. And mm -hmm. then... He absorbs this, and then I lose all my life. Um, it it depends on the rhythm of the match that's been set, and mm. like what character your opponent has. Um, usually, like with top Jack players like Saint and Anakin, the way they're using Jackhammer is in conjunction with Crouch yeah. and the dash out of Crouch. So they're doing stuff like this. It looks like really slow and janky with the latency. But they're like dash forward, dash forward, and trying to set like an awkward rhythm with right. their lows. Yeah. And mixing in the jackhammer to like blow up the opponent once they start trying to twitch low parry and things like that. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Alright, cool. So with that, there's there's like a few moves. This one will be different to the last two episodes, but there's a, there's a few moves that I wanted sure. to ask you about. So like, you know, he has side step one, mm -hmm. which I think is a good move. He also has side step two, which I think is a good move. Season 2 is really good now. Season 3 buff. So what's what's the change? What's, what makes it really good now? Well, they... I believe they reduced the pushback on this move. I'm pretty sure they did. But um, another thing they did, they said in the patch notes uh, that both you and the opponent recover faster to speed up the, game. the rate of the interaction. So your opponent needs to, I guess, react quicker to the situation that they've just been put at minus nine. Uh, the other thing, that property, when it hits, is new. So a massive reward on hit. You get a guaranteed forward, forward, four now. That was not the case before. Um, uh. So at the wall, it's just become a 
totally insane, like how good this move is. So it's like a pressure to... tool. I'm pretty sure, yeah, they reduce the pushback. So, um, something like this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. First, the frame trap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, and so then, you know, if I'm doing plus nine into plus five, and you can't really hit any buttons to get out of it, then other things start becoming available to me. Oh yeah, it balcony breaks too. Um, <laughs> like if I get you to if I get you to freeze up after you block it, um, then I can dash in and start you know doing my insane wall pressure with my loads. This guy, this guy this is, is crazy. This is all like super crazy. You know his wall game is just nasty. All I have to do is hit you with one low, and then I've got the plus frames. Yeah. And I've got plus frame mids and plus nine highs to back it up. Like, mm. um, I think that's really boosted his wall game significantly. It's having this available, and then uh, he's got forward one plus two, which is the season three buff also. So you'll see Saint do like sides to two, and then he'll like wait for a reaction. He'll wait to see if you hit a button after, yeah. and then just blast you into the wall with this. Look at the ring, yo, from Bro. there. Bro, it's a wall bounce. Yo, that range is crazy. <laughs> but it's like it's got like a. Yeah, that's crazy. Yo, get hit by this. I'm, I get hit by this. Oh, oh, you want me to get hit? I go on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. That's like a really like basic easy combo. You can get more damage than that if like you've got the awareness. Yeah. So like, what about back one two? Do you would you do you use this move at all? Um, Not really. <laughs> I like it just to like ball out. It's called double bicep, so it's like super gangster doing it. <laughs> and uh, guarantee down four plus two after you hit it. Oh, did we crash? Oh, wait. I don't know what happened. For like we have. Oh, you there? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. Can you still hear me? Yeah. I'm frozen up though. You still frozen I up? Move. I can't move. Yeah. Alright, hold on one second. Technology, what's going on? What are you doing? All right now, nah, you're still there. You're still, you're still in the thing. Yeah, I'll... maybe I should unplug replug. Or... All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, unplug and then replug, and it should be okay. Okay. Uh, okay, are you in? Uh, hold on, I have to click the screen once. It says the host is doing something. All right, you there? Can you move? Uh, hold on, I'm plugging back in. Uh, it's freezing. It's freezing. Yeah, 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 I feel like something's going on. What's happening? Sending the pulse across the ocean. Is it there? Uh, I can't move. Maybe uh, hit start and then switch out from controller and then go back again. Okay, and then... There we go. There we go. Hey, hey, this is Tekken 8. You don't have this in Tekken 7. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. All right, let's go. Yeah, they got to bring this back. Yeah, yeah, they definitely have to. This is amazing. They had it. We had it, and then they took it out. <laughs> so, all right, so what What other things? Like, so what other moves? I know I know we're talking on moves quite a lot. You know what? Actually, let's skip that because I feel like we kind of don't want to make this too complicated for people that want to actually learn the character. And okay, Let's talk about his throws a little bit. Yeah, let's talk about his throws. Let's switch up. Um... So, yeah, just like Paul, he's got, you know, command grab for every break. Mm -hmm. And the ulti is really good. Mm -hmm. uh, let's start talking about this one. This one's really interesting. Um, this is 45 damage. This is Corsicle back two as the input. Let me take off Rage, actually, for you. Sorry, cause just, 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 just to get the accurate damage. Yeah, go on. Um, yeah, Corsicle back two is 45 damage. And what's interesting is down forward one plus two is actually guaranteed after this throw. Oh, is it done it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, thanks for the host, Joey. What's what's going on with your connection, man? <laughs> God damn, bro. My connection. God damn, bro. All right, hold on a second. Let me check. Let me see. If, maybe we might have to. Maybe I might have to take you out and then bring you back in. If it happens again, yeah. it should be alright. I mean, I am playing Tekken on your computer from like across five, the pond. Six, <laughs> all right let's i right, do it again let's see to be fair okay yeah of course i'll go back two and then down forward one plus two is going to be guaranteed there's probably no way i'm going to hit it with the latency um i couldn't blow that yeah 
if I do it properly, uh, you can't get out of it, and it adds an extra 20 damage. Yeah. So that totals 65, and then it pops you up into like another Oki situation. Yeah. So, um, I like doing this throw, on um, particularly on like an infinite stage where, um, you know, doing like down four, down four, two plus four. There's no chance that I'm gonna get the wall. Yeah. So the, like the damage is just so high, off of uh, course we go back two. I know what you're trying to do. They're, they're throwing yeah. and then go another side. Yeah, yeah, four, yeah. Four. So down four, down four, two plus four is really good because you can dash under and get a wall combo. But course we go back two is really good on like infinite stages if you just want like boom chunky 65 damage into more Oki. Uh Okay, nice. Yeah, I didn't. I don't really see much Jack players using that throw. You know, not it's, really. The follow-up is kind of risky, I guess, because if you mess up the timing on down four plus two, they can block it, and then you'll die. Mm. Uh, but so then that opens up like you could do this into uh, the blue hand, and if they get up ducking, then it's a launch. Like I, I like the mind games off of Corsica back two. Right. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so the other throw is Corsica forward one. And there's some cool Oki off of this. Like, for instance, I'll go right into, uh... I'll go oh. right into the body press. Oh, you want me to stand and up? If, yeah, just stand up. Okay. Just stand right up into the shit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's dirty, though. So this is, uh... This is like an Oki setup that I like to use. Okay. You gotta get up ducking, as far as I know, to, yeah. like, really avoid it. Uh, try holding back. Holding back? Okay. Yeah, try hold back. Nah, yeah, that still gets you. Still gets you. So they have to get up ducking, um, or like stay down or side roll to avoid it. So that gives plenty of opportunities. You know, if you get your opponent getting up ducking, mm -hmm. then uh, you can just blast them with like a with a jackhammer, or four four two, or something like that. Um, another thing I like to do to beat people who do get up kicks right here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do get up back. Kick. I do back four four. Oh. Yeah. Probably yeah, latency, getting latency. You're getting rocked by latency. <laughs> ah. And so the other thing is, if they stay down, um, I can get them with the second hit. Uh, ah. The only way for them to beat that is to wait for you to, to do the first and, and then, then get up kick to counter hit you out of the second, which they need to be hyper aware if they're going to do something like that. Yeah. So back 4 4, I think, is pretty good in that situation. Um. And then, yeah, your opponent might, like, stay down on the ground. In which case, you know, you can just hit him low. Uh, he has plenty of options in that situation. But the ones that I really like are going right into the body press. Mm -hmm. uh, back 4-4. Four, four, mm -hmm. Or, um, yeah, down back 4, just to hit them grounded. I like all those options a lot. Okay, nice. What about his... So, obviously, he has the up forward 1 plus 2 throw, where he does... Obviously, he has that one, and then he has the one where he punches you. But which do you ever use just that one by itself? There's actually no reason to, is there? Um, the only reason to would be, I guess, if you're going to kill them with without the extension. Mm. Because the extension can be blocked. So, like, if you get this, this is the only truly guaranteed thing. Mm. Um, that's the only reason to use it, and the other argument you could make is that you can do that throw, like, out of dash. Like, you can just run up on him and do it. Whereas, his other 1 plus 2 command grab, Tombstone, requires down back forward 1 plus 2, so you can't, like, run up and do it as quickly. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, up forward 1 plus 2, just by itself, like you said, there's not much reason to do it, unless, like... They're gonna die from mm. just 35 damage. Um, you're best off, you know, going for it. Oh my god! <laughs> They've done it again. Yeah, oh, done it again. No. Um, but the other thing uh, with upward one plus two, the Oki, if you just do it by itself, it's like really bad. So that's another reason why it's just not very good. Ah, uh, okay. Are you are you out again? It might be. You know what? It might be that your your Y is disconnecting. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Try again? Oh, I think I took yours. Oh. Wait. Oh. Oh, you did take mine. <laughs> that is... You in? No? Alright, let, let me uh, take it off. Hold on. Try one more time. Uh, 
Uh, hold on, let me unplug replay. Okay. It's too funny. A plane across the pond, boy. This is actually, this is this is technology at its finest. Someday, dude, this is gonna be like, uh, there's gonna be no latency, and you'll be playing offline, online. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. Yeah, I can't. Uh, you can't, can't join now. Try. Oh. No. Yeah, no go. No. Ah, one second. I think I know how to do it. All right. So then we go. You in? Yeah, why is not even this is working now? All right. Hold it. You know what we might have to do actually? Stay stay there. I'm gonna I'll take you out of the thing and then jump back in and I'm gonna invite you again. Kick me. Yeah. Right. And then I'll jump you and then I'll invite you again. Uh let me send you the link. I'm telling you man, they made this they made this a bit more difficult. Alright, I'll send you the link as well. It should be there. Sent me another link. Ah, uh, yo, thanks, Manix Gaming Hub. I appreciate it, man. Is it connecting? Uh, hold on a second. It. Sh oh yes, I got accepted. There we go. All right, you should be in now. All right, so. All right, yeah, all right. yeah. My yeah, thing is, I feel, I feel something's freezing. Uh oh. Uh oh, yeah, yeah, we're in, we're in. Press start, if you can. Oh, uh, I'm, I've got like your. It says the host is doing something else. I am not so doing please, anything else. Please wait a moment. All right, here we go. You there? Oh, you know what? Let me click this. All right. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Okay. Okay. All right. What were we talking about? We're talking about oh. We're talking about the froze. Oh, oh. my god. Well, we made it pretty far, man. We made it Wait. through like two and a half characters. This... Oh, is it, is uh, it took just... you out again? It took me out again. All right, hold on. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's go. We'll see if it holds up. Yeah. All right, uh, what else should we talk about? Um, all right, cool. So we done froze. How hard is it to block the up forward one plus two? Is it cool? Is it down down forward two? What's the other? Yeah, notation? down down forward two. You have to hit back right as the punch is like coming to your body. Yeah. Uh, is there any tips for this? Because I've I've done it online and I've it's been in a couple clips that's what I've done a couple times. There's there's really no tips. You just gotta go in practice mode and try to find the timing. Um, there's some people that are just quite good at it, and then other people are just really difficult. Um, probably the most significant occurrence of that just frame block mm -hmm. that has uh, like happened in tournament in Tekken 7 is Book versus Anakin um, to get into Losers Top 8 2018. Serious. Um, if you guys haven't seen that match, you gotta watch it. Um, Probably the most like clutch block on that particular move I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> I, I yeah, I don't even want to talk about it. You just gotta go watch. It. Just look it up. What match was it? it? What match is it again? Bo book versus Anakin, Evo 2018. Ah uh, yeah, now I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it. All right, so we don't really want to talk about combos because everyone knows like Jack's combos. Right? Sure. It's pretty straightforward. Down forward two, forward four, back one, down forward one one, dash up forward mm -hmm. uh, back three two two but then he also has other things where like he has the is it forward forward three two which is close to the wall uh, sure. Sure. and then he has uh what's the other one forward forward one two forward, forward one. One, two, one. Oh, forward two, forward one, two, one. one one yeah that's it but then he also has an unblockable from this one <laughs> yeah which, <laughs> it's not it's not really good it's kind of can you sidestep it is it sidesteppable um yeah i mean you could just interrupt you just knock him out of it. But if I'm scared and it's that you know the mental frames are there, uh, you should probably. You should, I think even Jack could probably sidewalk. All right, try it, try it, try it on me. Oh, oh yeah, that, that, that that's hella hella this, this crap. Uh, Arc joy if charge up upward one is any use. Is, oh sure, 
Sure. Um, yeah, it's like, hold on, let me think of, uh, it's one of my favorite combos to do in all of Tekken. If you get the spacing right. All right, let, let me move. Yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that shit, dude. Um, the best. Whoa, 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 like... whoa. Don't, don't start, don't, don't start another conversation after that. After Wait, I just what? see that. What? I didn't even know you could That's even the... <laughs> what? I call that the Tekken Revolution combo because that was like, in Tekken Revolution, that was like max damage. You know, you could like jack up your character's power stats. So yeah. like the best combo of Ford War 2 was just a rock <laughs> Did like 90%. What the? I have never seen any use for that. That is crazy. So the, the best is like if you catch a Ford Ford 2 around this distance and there's the breakable balcony or the breakable wall. Yeah. Um, so you rock him into the wall and then you just break that shit with the boot. The, the spacing has to be um, kind of just right. Yeah, but yeah. I've, I've gotten it before. I think I got it on like G Corp Helipad. I think I did it to someone in tournament actually. Um, I hit him with this. And then break the balcony, and then tailspin, take him to the other wall, and then staple. That's so much damage. Yeah. Tek Tekken Revolution. See what Tekken Revolution done to all you lot? It made you do all of these crazy things, and then you brought it into Tekken 7. Joey, you should be ashamed of yourself now, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go on to... All right, so combos, we don't need to go through combos. Is there any secrets and tips with this character like you can give for people that are trying to learn this character? Secrets and tips with Jack. Mm. So... Well, let me think for a second. Like, the, the thing that's interesting to me about Jack is... You know, I was talking about, like, controlling the space and controlling the pace, like, with basic tools. Yeah. The thing is, once you really start doing that and start getting the momentum, um, like, so many moves become viable with Jack. Mm -hmm. um, like, once that momentum is rolling, you can just do all sorts of stuff. And uh, it's, it's really fun to go through this character's move list and just pick a move. Just pick something that you think is, like, kind of garbage and once you start feeling that momentum like gearing up in your favor in the match just sort of like letting it rip and see what happens so for instance um you know you might find that you can get them with like setups into uh sit two one two one uh this is all natural combo if you get the first hit mm. so it's kind of like fun to like kill people when they only have a little bit of health left and doing something like this um, you can just get away with like so much stupid shit if you get in your opponent's head and that's what's really fun about Jack okay um, so I'm trying to think of like a few more examples of stuff like that like I don't know like you, you corner him at the wall and I'll even see like Satan and Anakin do stuff like this they get the momentum at the wall and then they start doing like Cossack kicks it's like what hmm. uh, it's it's really fun to experiment with shitty moves and just make them work via mind games with the character. Um, so don't be afraid to like uh, to experiment and don't really like write off moves with Jack, even though he is very simple. Um, there's a lot of like fun to be had with his more obscure moves. Hmm. All right, cool. Oh, I've got one secret though. I've got one like legit secret. Go on. Uh, on Forgotten Realm, break the floor and then hold up. Nah, we're gonna do it right now. You're gonna show me now. You're yeah, gonna show yeah. me. <laughs> Is that the one way he kind of does a hurt, hurt, hurt? Yeah, yeah, you can still do that, man. That's the old Tekken Six. So, you, so you only, you, you can only, still do it. you only have to hold up. You only have to hold up. I thought you have to press three plus four. Up. I think up. you just hold up. Oh. I think you just hold up. I oh, hold up. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh reset. Reset at the beginning. Alright, good. Always do it. Ah. Maybe you do have to hit up three plus four. This character so shit. This is crazy. <laughs> it's, it's so dumb. <laughs> but 
there might be like legit setups for it. I don't really know, <laughs> but he can fly off after the floor break. It's kind of tight. That's crazy. All right. Yeah, it's off three plus four. You're right. It is off. Three. Okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool. All right, then, man. Thank you very much for teaching me, Jack. I appreciate fun, it, man. man. I, I don't know how this actually worked, but it worked. We got it. Through yeah, it. I mean. It was it was latent, but it got the job done. So it's a cool idea. Thanks for inviting me on. Man. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you very much for your time as well, man. I appreciate it, man. Oh, for sure, for sure. All right, that's Joey Fury. You lot, uh, shout out to Joey Fury for coming on and doing this. I really, really appreciate it. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Maybe I might play. Should I play some ranked matches with with Paul Phoenix? The pool. The pool. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm probably gonna play some ranked matches, man. But yeah, you're welcome to just chill out if you want to, man, or if, you know if you're busy. Sure, yeah, yeah, I'll uh, I'll tune in the stream. I gotta start doing some work, but yo, you should uh, rock some gigas. Because Gig we didn't get to talk about them, so we gotta show them some love. Giga, oh, <laughs> oh bro, I'm gonna lie though. I've been seeing a lot of gigas as of late. I've seen a lot. He's fun, man. He's fun. Nah, I don't Shit, think. Though. I don't think. 